doesn't get you down the ticket office to get your tickets to the PBR Canadian Open this Saturday night, I don't know what the, that is. Looks like some fabulous stuff. Of course, great rock music, the roar of the crowd, <coughs> and then the Bulls just snorting. BJ Cramp joins us here, and of course, uh, BJ, I gotta ask you, was Cramps your name before or after you started bull riding? <laughs> it was before, yeah, it wasn't just because of the injury, so I've had that, I've had that my whole life. Are you from Crooked Creek, Alberta? Am I the only guy that doesn't know where Crooked Creek, Alberta is? I think so, everyone else knows, it's up by Grand Prairie. No, it's just a little town just outside of Grand Prairie, about 45 minutes. Now they have a street named after you yet, up there? Uh, no, no, I'm working on it. Are you? I'm working on it. Now, you're the only Canadian in this event on Saturday night, uh, that, uh... I mean that you're uh, the best in Canada, or does that just mean that you're the only guy who can sort of uh, get in? Oh, you know, you have to qualify to be on the PBR tour, you know, and they uh, they make to keep qualifying. Every, every five stops, they drop the bottom five guys and bring the top five in from a minor league division, and I was among the top five, you know, about four years ago, and I've been on the tour ever since. All right, I've got to ask you, okay, you're uh, 160 pounds. Uh, the Bulls are about, what, 1,600 pounds more? Yeah. That's, that yeah. doesn't seem like a fair fight. No, and you know, it's not, uh, and there's definitely uh, a lot of injuries that go along with it. This is definitely the, the extreme sport of, uh, of extreme sports, and uh, there's a lot of physical action and uh, a lot of injuries that go along with it, but it's just action, excitement, and danger. Now, this is the event that, of course, is a, a fan favorite in any rodeo. My question is, does this threaten the existence uh, of the, your standard rodeos, you know, sort of having just the bull riding events? Well, it doesn't threaten the existence of rodeo. You know, rodeo is always going to be a big part of things because there's several other events in it. But, uh, you know, the bull riding has just separated itself and just become, you know, astronomical. It's increased its market a whole bunch. Uh, the money, you know, it's just uh, uh, fabulous, you know, compared to traditional and uh, you know, they've, they've just done a lot with it, and uh, they've created more of a rock and roll atmosphere, an up-tempo game, and, uh, you know, fans like it. And basically, given what the fans want, right? I mean, you talk about the music, you talk about that sort of that aura, that atmosphere, that uh, that's what people are looking for. I mean, they're looking, you know, for an event, not just your standard, okay, just sit there quiet, watch the event, and sort of clap, clap, and kind of Yeah, on. exactly. You know, it's a show, and, uh, and they've also isolated, so they've got the best 45 guys in the world at any time, and they've got, uh, you know, the best bulls in Canada are going to be here on Saturday. You know, there's like 12 different contractors bringing bulls all over from Canada, so uh, it's just going to be the best of the best. When you talk about the best... Uh, who the, should fans look for on Saturday night? Well, the points leader uh, right now, you know, the guy sitting first in the world is Adriano Marias, you know, and he's just uh, walked away. You know, he's he's earned over $200,000 this spring. You know, he's just uh, lighting him on fire. And, uh, you know, he, he's the ma major guy to watch for. Um, you know, there's going to be past world champions there. You know, uh, I could go on naming names. Uh, anyone who, who watches the telecast, most of those guys are going to be there. You know, there's a few guys out uh, with injuries, but uh, other than that, it's just a stacked house. And when you watch the other competitors, uh, what goes through your mind, or do you even watch the other riders? Oh, I definitely watch, but I'm more watching the bull. You know, uh, it's uh, bull riding's uh, the nice part about it is you don't have to be intimidated by the other riders. I mean, you could be in the same locker room with it, it doesn't matter who, because you're just competing against your bull. You're not really worried. It's pretty irrelevant what uh, what the other competitors do. You talked about uh, you know, the champion winning two hundred thousand bucks so far. Uh, what kind of cash is up for grabs uh, on Saturday night? Well, uh, the winner's going to walk away with uh, $20,000 minimum. You know, these uh, one-day events, the, the guys walk away with twenty dollars to $30,000, you know, and uh, the Ford's got a big bonus. If you uh, win the first round and win the event, you know, there'll be an extra 10000 for the guy that does that. So, uh, you know, there could be some big bucks won here. At, uh, you know, the Calgary Stampede 50000 is uh, is going to look small compared to the money that's won on Saturday. And you can make a pretty good living doing it, but it's a, it's a tough way to make a living. Uh, your most serious injury that you've uh, had uh, bull riding, or have you had one yet? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Believe me, I've had a few. Um, I, uh, I had to get ACL reconstructive surgery on my left knee, and uh, that put me out of competition for about a year. But uh, that's been my most uh, you know extensive injury. Other than that, you know, I've just been blessed abundantly. I've been really lucky, and so I've been very fortunate. Uh, there's... There's injuries that take place all over, you know, it's, uh, it's a rough sport. And it's probably a catch-22, you're sort of like, okay, I want the, the meanest, baddest bull so you can get the best score, but not so bad that you can't even stay on. Oh, definitely, you know, the draw plays a lot in it. You want a rank bull that you're going to score a lot of points on, but you also, you know, there's also a little bit of, you know, the Adeline kind of a bull, you know, that's uh, a little bit down and dirty, you know, he's a little bit tougher to ride, but you're not going to score as quite as many points on, so uh, the draw plays a big role. And you tour for uh, how long during the year? 
Um, I'm gone from uh, New Year's Eve, the tour starts, and uh, the first weekend in November is when it ends, you know, the finals of Thomas and Mack in Las Vegas. So it's a, it's a pretty extensive tour almost year-round. If you're a bull riding fan, you don't want to miss out on this. The PBR Canadian Open, of course, uh, BJ Krabs. Thanks for joining us tonight. Tickets are available for this unbelievable event on Saturday. And, of course, you've got rock music. I mean, where else can you get that kind of stuff in that kind of atmosphere as well? And the great bulls and, of course, the great riders. Good luck on Saturday night. Stay healthy, not only on Saturday night, but uh, the rest of the year. Thanks for coming by. Thanks a lot. Appreciate no it. We're back to wrap it up after this. to the 